Call me Hoyle. Marshal Hoyle. Field Bureau Chief, State Crime Commission. You're just in time to help me solve the secret of Shangri-La. Well, we've only got 24 hours to find out what it is. Think we can do it? Now, cracking this case is up to you. You'll see everything I see. Hear all that I hear. Whenever there's a decision to make, you'll make it. Now, I'll follow your orders. Go wherever you want me to go. But if I die in the line of duty, well, uh, let's put it this way. I think I'm a pretty good detective, but you're calling all the shots. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing, boss. I was putting in overtime at my office, sweating out the Shangri-La situation, when my computer finally lit up with a secret message from Stella. I didn't want to send her to the Tokamak Mountains, but after losing two of my best people at Shangri-La, I didn't have much choice. Her urgent message has me worried, though. Sure, she sent it in code, but codes can be cracked. I'm afraid Stella's in more danger than even she can have. Hello? Fry here. Uh, Fry. This is Hoyle. I'm going out there. Where? To Shangri-La? Stella's there. No need for you to put yourself on the line. Fry, look, I just heard from Stella. We got 24 hours to crack this case. And you're worried that your helpless little girlfriend can't handle it? May I remind you, she's a better shot than you, Hoyle, and holds a black belt. You ever make it past Brown? Fry. I don't care what you say. I am going out there Mr. myself. Mr. You're not going anywhere. That's a direct. Maybe Stella can take care of herself, but Shangri-La is a tall order. A resort hotel with hundreds of rooms and a crime to match every one. I better check the Shangri-La file once more. Charles Wise owns Shangri-La, an eccentric philanthropist who squanders millions on horoscopes to protect the rest of his fortune. Took a mysterious silent partner a year ago. Once he did, the place turned rotten, and Wise himself disappeared. Walked into Shangri-La one day, and never came out again. Is he dead? No one knows. Better tool up before Fry pulls rank and grounds me. I've got 500 bucks in my wallet. 13 tools, but only six are essential. Which six? Choose carefully, Hoyle. Touch knife. Small. Sharp. Easy to conceal. My ID badge. Dead giveaway if I'm searched. Protection if I'm threatened. Maybe. Pocket flashlight. My blackjack. Magnifying glass. Bugging device for overhearing secrets. My lighter, alias, blowtorch. My secret message writer. Tools, lockpicks, skeleton keys. A transmitter to signal my backup troops. Antenna down, other button, it's a time bomb. Miniature camera, but it needs film. My disguise kit. Takes up room, but sometimes even a cat needs an extra life. If you carry a piece, you might give some other gunslinger an excuse to use his or hers. Still, I lost two agents in Shangri-La. Neither of them went there armed. Got my money, my equipment, but only 24 hours. Start counting now. Tough choice, huh? Obviously, I can't lug all that equipment with me to Shangri-La. Just the really necessary stuff. Now, there are some tools an investigator can't do without, but some of the other things you saw might do me more harm than good, like the gun. 
Now, it could save my life, or it might inspire an assassin to embroider my body with bullets. The more you play the game, the better sleuth you'll become. You'll learn which items to select and which are better off left behind at the office. For instance, did you choose my ID badge? It's kind of bulky in my wallet, but if I don't carry it with me, how am I going to make an arrest and make it stick? Well, there's another reason why my badge is important, but, uh, well, that's a secret. I'll clue you in on it later. Right now, you and I are going to take a little trip. We'll see how well you do. Well, welcome to Shangri-La. I guess all look so innocent. Some of them are. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, maybe later. That place looks so peaceful. So does a sleeping cobra. Well, at least there's one healthy spot in Shangri-La. They grabbed my luggage, one, two, three. But now they're in no hurry to check me in. Are they? I'm sorry, sir. I cannot check anyone in for another 30 minutes. I hope you don't mind waiting. Do I have a choice? But not in the least. Should I check out the shops? Maybe later. This is one resort hotel that cares about its customers. I have always been interested in mimes. Uh, but this one's too interested in me. I need to keep a low profile. Should I let this big wind-up toy entertain me? All work, no play, no good for Fat Jack. Time to sweat. I'm going to go down into that... Fat Jack looks familiar. Sweat Too sweat familiar. Get all that poisonous juice out of me, then I'm going to jump into a cold shower of Mountain Dew Cool. Wind me up, wind me up, wind me up, wind me up. I did what the mind told me. Hi, love. It's me. Stella. Ingenious disguise. Go to my room in 30 minutes. Video cassette. Room 113. I'm curious about Fat Jack, but I've got a date with uh, a mime in room 113. It's funny. Hotels usually avoid using 13 in their room numbers. It makes them harder to rent. Well, got to wait half an hour before my rendezvous with Stella. What should I do in the meantime? All work, no play, no good for Fat Jack. Time to sweat. I'm going to go down into that sauna and sweat and sweat and get all that poisonous juice out of me. Fat Jack looks familiar. Cold shower, Too cold. familiar. Fat. Jack. Hmm. I've seen him before. But where? Oh, it'll come to me. Meanwhile, I've got 30 minutes before check-in to do some preliminary investigating. Okay, where to next? I'm sorry, sir. You cannot go upstairs until you're checked in. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Only registered guests allowed. Looks like the only shop up on is Arena of Odessa. <laughs> Should I have my fortune told? Well, no 
news is good news. I guess. Better watch my step. Some fortune tellers ask more questions than they answer. I watch you. I know you come to Irina. See? You stay long time at Shangri-La? How long do you plan to stay? More than one day? Many things to do at Shangri-La. You are a man of action, yes or no? Irina sees much action in your future. Uh, could you tell me more? Of course, but it will cost much money. You must pay for what I reveal, one hundred dollars. Your sign. Uh, says ten bucks. Oh, my unfortunate friend. It is your destiny to pay more. You will do it or not? <laughs> She's purposely touching my wallet. Why? She must feel my back. Thank you. Thank you. She's purposely touching my wallet. Why? She must feel my badge. Is my copper blown? Thank you. Thank you. Tell me. You are here alone? Good thing I didn't bring my badge. Irina's hand would have felt it as soon as she touched my wallet. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me. You are here alone. I see a special woman in your future. Yes? No? Ah, then you seek fortune, much money. Ah, oh, many ways to win money and fortune here at Shangri-La. Taro tells all. You are knight of swords, dashing, brave, Courageous, much good fortune will come to you, and then it will go again, unless you know what it means to be wise. There are three cards of much importance to you. The Ace of Clubs, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician. Each one promises. Each one threatens. Which one will you choose? There are two people in your future. A woman and a man. She is special, he is dangerous. Ten dollars, please. <laughs> Ten dollars for that? My crystal ball is cloudy now. Come back later. I will tell you more. This special woman is in danger. A wicked person may bring you bad luck. Come back later. I will read your palm. I will tell you more. This special woman is in Shangri-La. My crystal ball grows cloudy now. Come back later. 
Maybe I will tell you more. There are two people in your future. A woman and a man. She is special. He is... dangerous. My crystal ball grows cloudy now. Come back later. I, I will read your palm. Tell you more. My crystal ball is cloudy now. Come back later. I will tell your fortune. Ah! I tell you now the future. You are a sporting man, but you must dress like one. You will find number 13 lucky. You will go up in the world. That is your fortune. A hundred bucks for that. A wicked person will bring you bad luck. Come back later. I will read your palm. I will tell you more. Ah! I tell you now the future. You are a sporting man, but you must dress like one. You will find number 13 lucky. You will go up in the world. That is your fortune. A hundred bucks for that. Ah, I will tell you now the future. You are a sporting man, but you must dress like one. You will find number 13 lucky. You will go up in the world. You must break and enter. Swear that is your fortune. <laughs> A hundred bucks for this. A wicked person may bring trouble, may cause bad luck. Come back later. I will read your palm. I will tell you more. Ah, I tell you now the future. You are a sporting man, but you must dress like one. You will find number 13 lucky. You will go up in the world. You must break and enter. That a hundred bucks for this. Ah, I will tell you now the future. You will find action in a theater. Excitement, danger. That is your fortune. A hundred bucks for that. A wicked person will bring you bad luck. Come back later. I will read your palm. I will tell you more. Ah, I tell you now the future. You will find action in the theater. Excitement, danger. That is your fortune. A hundred bucks for that. Irina sure asks a lot of questions. And each answer is important. Wrong one might mean big trouble later in the game. Or Irina might just uh, clam up and hustle me back out in the lobby. A poor detective wouldn't hear all the clues she has to tell. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret about Irina. She's in hot water at Shangri-La. She needs my help. But she has to be plenty careful how she asks for it. Now, if you let me pay her a uh, hundred dollars, you saw her rest her hand on my wallet. Now, if we
we took along my ID badge as part of my equipment, she felt the badge through the leather, recognized me as a detective. Come back later. I will read your palm, tell you more. If I do come back, Irina will slip a secret message into my hand as she reads my palm. But only if I took along my badge in the first place. Now let's look at the mine. Did you find out she's really Stella? Should I let this big wind-up toy entertain me? Remember that? If you told me to move away from Stella, you made a mistake. A good detective would figure the lobby's security cameras had already spotted me. So I might as well let the mime approach. It might even be one of my agents in disguise. Now, if you allowed the mime to entertain me, here's what Stella said. Go to my room in 30 minutes. Video cassette. Room 113. But if you didn't let the mime perform, Stella couldn't identify herself or deliver her message. A good detective uncovers better clues. Well, you brought me this far, and I'm still vertical, but don't pat yourself on the back yet. One wrong answer might still buy me a concrete shroud. And even if we're smack on target so far, there are 100 rooms at the hotel. You can send me into every one of them. We might uncover a, a nest of gamblers, a damsel in distress, maybe a corpse or two. Only thing I'm sure we won't find is a Gideon Bible. Uh, but time is running out. It took quite a while for us to travel to the Tokamak Mountains. We've got less than 24 hours left to solve the secret of Shangri-La. And I'll let you in on one more secret. If we don't, it'll spell disaster for the entire USA. So what are you waiting for? Let's get to work. <laughs> 